Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is a full body mat workout. So let's get started. We're going to start in a quadruped, a modified quadruped position. Place your heel of your palm and the shoulder in one vertical alignment and tuck your toes under for a second, but have your pelvis somewhere between your knees and your feet. Right, try to keep a nice long spine here. Wide open across the front of your chest. Take an in-breath. Moving on to our cat stretches. Exhale. As we draw the abdominal muscle, we round the spine. We curl the head and look towards your feet. As we inhale, we lengthen the spine. Take our body through neutral spine and get our upper back to an extension. And then as we exhale, we flex the spine, rounding and going through neutral spine, taking our upper back into extension. Again, we exhale, we flex, we round, and through neutral, and extend the upper back. Again, two more times, exhale, just mobilizing our spine to start the class through neutral, and extend the upper back. Last one here. Exhale. And through neutral, extending the upper back. And take our spine back to a neutral spine. Now readjust the position. Shoulder above the heel of the palm and your knee and your center of your hip in vertical alignment and release the feet. Let's go on to our transit abdominus engagement. So as we breathe out, I like you to maintain the neutral spine, but I like you to draw in the abdominal muscle towards the spine. And inhale, we'll let it go. Exhale, maintain the neutral spine. And inhale and let it go. Exhale, lift the abdominal muscle up towards the spine, like as though you're wearing a corset in a quadruped position here. And inhale, two more times. Exhale, we draw up. And in breath, last one, exhale. We draw the abdominal muscle up, lengthening through the spine, and inhale, we let it go. Now, place your hand or reach your hands forward in front of you. Now, from here, maintain a long spinal position, send the pelvis back, keep the neck long, and then we're just gonna stay and go down into a shoulder stretch position. We stay here, trying to keep the pelvis long, reaching out away from the crown of the head. Exhale, can we sit a little deeper, but keep the placement of your palm on the same spot on the floor. In breath. Exhale, allow the gravity to take the weight of the body towards the floor. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, sitting down towards the heels. Two more times, in breath. Exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale. And roll the spine up. Bring the pelvis above the knee and release that. Well done. Let's transition, transition ourselves, excuse me, to a supine position. So go ahead and lie on your back. Set our body for a pelvic curl. So have your feet hip width distance apart, about a fist between the heels. Toes are pointing forward in parallel position. Pelvis in neutral, spine is in neutral. The arms are long by the side of the body. Opening the chest across in front of the body. Take an in breath. Exhale, as we breathe out, using the abdominal to deflate and deflate the belly in and imprint the lower spine down, press the feet and start rolling the spine up to a bridging position, using the hamstring and finish it up 
with the glute muscle. Inhale. Exhale. As we roll down, we articulate the spine one vertebra at a time. And then release the pelvis back to the neutral position. And again, exhale. Deflating the abdominal to imprint the lower spine. And we peel the vertebrae off the floor. Come into a neutral position, in a bridging position here. Inhale. Exhale. We roll the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And release back to neutral. Again, exhale. We roll up. Hamstrings working, abdominals working, spine is long, arms are reaching long, inner thighs are working. Inhale, exhale, roll down and down and down and release back to neutral. Two more times, please. Exhale, we roll up, press up. Making sure that your rib cage does not hyperextend. So we want to connect the upper abdominal towards the pelvis. And exhale, roll down. And the last one here. Breathe out. We roll up to the bridging position. Press the end bit of the shoulders down to the floor. Exhale, roll it down. Back to neutral. Okay. Glide your hands underneath the back of the head. Interlace the fingers. Place your hand just at the bottom of the head here. And elbows are off the floor slightly. Ready for a chest lift. Take an in-breath. Exhale. Send the ribs down. Draw the abdominal. And we'll lift the chest up to a chest lift. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Exhale. We'll lift. In-breath. Exhale, we go down. In breath. Exhale, we go down. Three more times. In breath. Exhale. Again. Inhale, can we lift a little higher? Exhale, we come down. Last one. In breath, exhale, we come down. And let's come up again. Exhale, we lift up. Now reach your arm to the back of your thighs. Bend the elbow slightly. Can we lift the chest a little higher here? Now maintain that new height. Interlace the hands back behind your head. Let's add the rotation. We go to the right. Inhale, center. And left. Center. And right. And left. And right. Rotation comes from the waistline. Exhale. Two more sets. Last set. Center and come back down. Well done. Stretch your arms out to a T position. Lift one leg up to the tabletop, knee over the hips. Second leg up, joining to the tabletop position, squeezing the thighs together. Let's go for spine twist supine here. As we inhale, we rotate through the waistline towards me. Exhale, return yourself back to center. Inhale, over to the other side. Exhale, you want to keep the legs together all the time and make sure you initiate the movement from the waist. Exhale, and inhale over to the other side. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, one more each side, in breath. Exhale, and the last one. And exhale, come back to center. Stretch your arms overhead. Let's go to the hundred. So we exhale, we lift the arms, lift the hand and chest up, curl up, arms, buttons of the pelvis, stretch your legs long, 
hold and inhale. And let's go. Exhale for five. And inhale five. And exhale. And inhale for five. And as we exhale, I like you to think about drawing the abdominal deeper towards the spine. As we inhale, can we lift the chest a little higher? And exhale. And inhale. And sh, 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 and lift, 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 and exhale, deflate, sh, 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 and inhale, lift, 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 two more sets, sh, 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 sh. last set, sh, 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 and stay, bend the knees, grab your hands on the shin. Bend the elbow slightly, lift the chest a little higher. I like you to drop the feet and help yourself and rock yourself up to a rolling like a ball position. Just shuffle your hands down closer towards your ankle. Balancing on your tailbone, lock the arms, use your arms, gaze to the pelvis. Now from here, as we inhale, we roll back to the shoulder. Exhale, bring yourself up and over and balance and inhale. Exhale, balance. Inhale, we roll. Exhale, inhale, we roll. Exhale, three more. Exhale, and two. Exhale, and last here. Exhale, and can we balance here for a second? Hold here for three two, one, and well done. Place your feet down, sit back, stretch your feet or open your feet, stretch your legs, half your legs slightly wider than your pelvis, dorsiflex your feet, let's go to our spine stretch. I like you to create a nice long spine here. If that's quite impossible for today, it's quite challenging for today, I want you to bend the knees, but try to maintain that long spine for me. Okay, arms are forward, take an inhale. As we exhale, we round the spine, we articulate the spine. Let's take our body down and forward. We inhale, stay. As we exhale, we use our abdominal muscle to roll the spine back up to an upright seated position. Again, exhale, as we roll down and forward. Inhale, hold. Exhale, we roll up and upright. Three more times. Exhale, making sure that you really articulate the spine bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, reach longer. Exhale, roll up and sit up tall. Again, exhale, roll down, forward and Exhale, roll up and upright. Last one. Exhale, we roll down and forward. Inhale, exhale, we roll up and lift up tall. Excellent. Let's grab your ankles, please. So let's move on to our open leg rocker preparation or modified. I like you to grab the ankles. Have your feet together. Now, making sure that your knee are not splitting up too much to the side, but use your inner thighs to actually gently press against your arms, lifting the spine tall. So you are in a slight diagonal position here, long back. Now from here, as you inhale, I like you to work into a round C curve position. Then we roll the spine just to the shoulder and exhale, come back up and we find that V balance position. And roll back, and then exhale, we lift. Again, inhale, we round. Exhale, we lift. And three more, we round. <coughs> exhale, we lift. And two more, round. And lift. <coughs> Last one, round, 
and we balance and lift here. Can we find a balance here? Now, if you can, come and join me. Extend the right leg, stretch it out. And fold. And the left one, stretch it out. And fold. One more each side. Stretch out as long as you can. And fold. And the last one, stretch it out as long as you can. Let's do both of them and stretch out, hold the center and fold. Two more times and stretch out and fold. Last one here, stretch out. Well done and release. Take your feet down, move the pelvis back, straighten the leg, have your feet slightly apart, hands behind you for our back support here. So legs long, chest is nice and open, engage the back muscle. From here, we breathe up, press the heels, lift up the pelvis, lift the spine, neck is long, gaze is slightly diagonal, up to the ceiling, and we fold through the hips, we release the pelvis, then just touching the floor, and we bounce back up again as you breathe out. And then inhale, come down. Again, four more, and lift. Press up. And come down. And press up. And come down. Again, four, two more, excuse me. Press up. And come down. The last one, we press up. And Come down, well done. Cross the legs, hands forward. Going to a quadruped position. We're going to do our gluteal series here. So line the shoulder and the heel of the palm, knee and the center of your hip. All right, I'm gonna do my left leg first. Take my left foot off, keep the knees bent, and let's lift the thigh. And then we go down, let's do 10 of this. Exhale, and down, and and down. We've got four here, I think. On five. Try to keep the pelvis nice and stable here. And moving the thighs at the hip joint. Three more. Two more. The last one, lift and release. Now, let's open the thigh to the side. And we go down. On two. And down. On three. And four. And five. Stabilize to your center. Six. Seven. Keep the angle of the knee constant all the time. Two more. Nine. Push the floor away. Last one. Ten. All right. Straighten the leg behind you. And let's do it again. Even left and down, and two, and down. And make sure you don't collapse in the lower back as you lift the leg. So maintain the spine as you lift the leg at the hip joint. And six, and down, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and 10. Release. Bring the knee in, let's go over to the other side. We take the foot off, okay, and we lift the thigh, and down, and two. Again, maintain the placement of the pelvis and the lumbar spine, the lower back, as you lift the thighs up. And four more, three, two, and last, okay, to the side, we open, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push the flow away, nine, last one, ten, and extend the leg behind you. Again, lift the abdominal and we lift the leg. On two, on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Well done. Bring the knee in. All right, let's go to a front support plank position. Now, I like you to draw in the lower abs. I like you to think about lengthening the lumbar spine, pulling from the underneath abdominal muscle. And then I want you to straighten one leg out, tuck the toes under, engage the hamstrings and the glutes. Hold the belly in, straighten the other leg. And maintain this plank position, front support position, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Bring one knee in. And the second one, sit back for a moment and roll the spine and come face towards me, lie on the side for our side lift. And we will also do some scissors leg. So stretch the underneath arm, stack the pelvis and the legs. You can place the top hand in front of you here, reaching out to the top of the leg. And from here, as you breathe out, we draw the abdominal in. We're gonna use the top oblique to lift the legs and lengthen the underneath side down to the floor. And down. Again. Lift. And down. Again. And down. Exhale. And down. Exhale. And down. Exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now lower just off the floor here. Let's take the top leg forward and the bottom back for scissors. Exhale. And find your balance through your center. And two more sets. Last set, last one, back to the center, hold the legs together, hold that, and then find your balance, take the top arm, bring the arm overhead, and we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Help yourself up. Let's go over to the other side, please. So straight legs, bottom arm long. And here we go. We lift and down and lift three more, two, last one. And lower just slightly off the floor. Let's go to the scissors leg. Top leg forward. Two more set. Last set. Legs together. Hold that balance. Take the top arm, take your arm overhead, and stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Let's turn to our belly. Let's go to our back extension. Legs are together as much as you can. Place your arms on the side of your body along the side of the body, palms facing in, please. Now, energy through the legs. Send your tailbone down towards the pelvis, towards the heels. Lift the lower abs up. Now, as you inhale, glide the shoulder blades down. Pull the arms and as you lift the upper back into extension. Exhale, we lower. Again, inhale, we lift. Exhale, return. Inhale, we'll lift. 
exhale. Two more times. Lifting. Exhale. Give the arms long by the side. Last one. Lifting, lifting, and hold. Take your hands off, your arms off. Bend the elbows, place the hands underneath the forehead. Take the right hand, the right palm on top of the left, and go ahead and lower the chest down. Now from here, I'd like you to keep the right hand with your forehead. Press your left arm down. Lift the chest up. Lift the left leg up and come down. So as I take my upper back up, my right hand is coming up with my forehead and my left leg is long. So modified swimming here. And we inhale, lift. Exhale, we go down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we go down. Two more, lift. Exhale. Last one, lift. Exhale. Let's switch the hand. So I have my left hand with my forehead and I lift and I lift my right leg up and exhale down. Again, inhale. Exhale. I'm reaching my leg long behind me. Exhale. Two more times. Last one. And well done. All right, stretch your arms long in front of you. Stretch your legs long behind you. Now I like it to float the head slightly off the floor. Engage the upper back and the middle back muscle. Lift the legs off. Lift the arms off. And let's go for a swimming. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right left. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And let's go. Inhale for five. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And. On five. On six. And seven, eight, two more sets, last set, we hold everything up and release, well done. Bend the elbows, bring the forearm by the side of the shoulder, push the floor away with the forearm, pull the belly in, sit the pelvis back to your heels for a quick rest position here. Inhale, exhale, one more time please. In breath, exhale, and let's roll the spine up. Okay, last exercise for this class. Let's go to a thigh stretch. So kneeling, arms are forward. Imagine you have a table underneath the arm. So gently press the arms down to the imaginary table. All right, that will engage your latissimus dorsi and your serratus interior. Now from here, drawing the lower abdominal, pull it in, All right? So slight posture, slight tuck pelvis underneath you. Gaze forward and we lean back from the knees, maintain the whole structure and we come back and let go. Exhale, abdominal. Lean back, gently press the arms down on the imaginary table and come back. Again, exhale, lean, 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 hold. Exhale, use the arms and come back. Two more times. Exhale, we hold the center, hold the center, hold the center. Inhale, exhale. Release, one last one, please. Exhale, press the arms, hold the center, in breath. Exhale, come back up, well done. And let it go. Sit the pelvis down, knees slightly open, in breath. Exhale, let's roll the spine down, walk your hand forward, rounding the back, 
reaching out the spine. <sighs> well done. Take an in-breath here. Exhale. And just allow the body to melt down to the floor. One more time, in-breath. Exhale. And in-breath. Next exhalation, let's roll the spine up to a sitting upright position. Well done. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. Take care.